for Tamiska Ming Cochran. Thank you, Speaker. I would like to take this first opportunity to have speak in the House since uh, the, the election to update the members regarding the wildfire situation in the riding of Tamiska Ming Cochran. And although we always hear about Tomogamy and the news reports, it actually affects Tomogamy, Martin River, River Valley, and communities uh, such as Elk Lake. I just got a call from a resident of mine, Jerry Frost, is in Tomogamy. He was just outside the evacuation area, and he asked me if I could make special mention of the water bombers. Yeah. Because the water bombers went over his house for five hours straight, and he said, I've seen movies of the Battle of Britain, but it felt like the Battle of Britain. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to make a special uh, uh, thank you to the water bombers. We knew. We knew it was going to be bad, Speaker. Two Sundays ago, I woke up, it was 5 o'clock in the morning, and the wind was blowing already. It was 26 degrees, and we knew it was going to be bad. By 1 o'clock, I'm about half an hour away from Tomogamy. By 1 o'clock, we couldn't see the sun. And it was, it's uh, an experience that, that is, uh, you have to be there to believe it. I'd like to thank the other uh, um, jurisdictions, British Columbia, Alberta, Saskatchewan, Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, Newfoundland, Northwest Territories, uh, the state of Minnesota. I was talking to the Minister of Natural Resources this morning, he said we're going to get some international help as well. Okay. The North, people in the North, we know about fires. In 1916 and 1922, lives were lost. And it's the, what we have now, the facilities we have now, and the help from other communities and our own MNR that prevents that from happening now. Thank you very much. And all, all our, uh,